Oh, would you look at that? No way. Beautiful boneless fillet in that oil. This right here is where it's at. Red pigfish. Well guys, welcome back to another edition of Nomadic Kayak Fishing. Uh, this afternoon, I've just uh, dropped out for a quick fish. Gonna go and flick some uh, soft baits and jigs about, see if I can't pick up a feed. It's the evening bite time. It's about five o'clock now. Fish out until sunset. Come down to one of my uh, favorite old spots. I'm up north now, up north from where you seen me last. And I got a cracker of an evening. So yeah, thought I better make the most of it and see if I can't come out here and pick up a quick feed. Just running two rods today. I've got the overhead set set up with a slow jig and a... Back there we got a softie rigged up. This is the return of the slow jig rod. If you guys have been following along on my Instagram, um, you'll know that about uh, a month or so ago, I snapped this rod, so it's good to have it back in business. Shout out to my sister, this was a great Christmas present. Just gonna drop this guy down to the bottom. There we go, we're in uh, 32 meters here. Start working this fella. Well, just like that, we've got our first fish on. Feels uh, very small. Just a dead weight. Very weird bite. What the hell is this gonna be? What is that? Oh, we got ourselves a pigfish. Quite a small one. Well, how's that for a first fish on the new rod? And these guys are excellent, excellent eating. So, uh, I'm gonna take him home with me. I'm not complaining one bit. I'll give him the old icky stick and send him on his way. Into the, well, send him on his way into the chill pod. Drop him in the back and... All I'm doing is dropping this jig to the bottom. We're in 30 meters. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bit of sign there on the bottom. So we've just touched down 30 meters. And all, all you do to work these jigs is half a wind, pause, half a wind. So half, 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 half. And you just do that for about the bottom 10, 15 meters of the water column. And the fish can't seem to resist these jigs. Well, uh, nothing on that drift. I'm uh, gonna move spots here. Lots of sign here, but nothing that's feeding. So go looking for something better. Just uh, come out over some sand and deep water. See if there's not a snapper holding here. There's a little bit of sign here, so might be able to pick something up. Is the bottom. I might have to call you back. This is quite a good fish. Okay, there. Okay, see ya. Oh, sorry about that guys, um, I was on the phone to my sister and uh, I've just hooked quite a good fish. <laughs> uh, that's funny, feels like quite a solid fish, he's eating it on the drop. <laughs> what, what, what am I doing? Sorry, I was on the phone completely preoccupied there. Let's have a look see here, what do we got? Under the kayak. Oh yeah, nice eater. Oh, he's only just pinned. Ugh. Let's get rid of this phone. Grab the lip gaff for this one because he's only just barely hooked. Here we go. Oh, that's a primo looking fish. That right there is an awesome fish for a little arvo flick. It's exactly what I came out here for. 
I was drifting over a bit of reef and I just moved up to a bit of sand. Um, there wasn't anything really holding on that reef. So I've come up a bit deeper over the sand. I'm in 32 meters and uh, it's quite a nice little fish there. Perfect for the table. That's, uh, that's mission accomplished. And we'll get straight into another drop. When you're fishing these jigs, you just want to biff them a few meters forwards of your drift so that by the time they hit the bottom, they're directly under the kayak. Oh, would you look at that bait ball right there? I hope you can see that. Big bait ball dropping into it. Should be on here. Holy. We're on again. Just managed to hook another fish. This one feels very small. Let's have a gaze here. What do we got? John Dory, come on. Oh, well it's not a snapper. What? Okay. Bugger. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Can you eat these things? Baby granddaddy half okay. That thing's tiny. Tiny little fella. Look at him compared to the jig. <laughs> the jig's nearly as big as him. Oh well, we're gonna plop him back. Well, that was very chilled out. Ah. Well, it's uh, it's gone bloody quiet out here since that last fish. But um, with the sun, with the sun coming down and. The light starting to fade a bit. Um, I reckon that I've got a good shot in close now. Even though the water's really clear, when the when the light gets low, oftentimes the fish come on the bite in shallow. So uh, seeing as there's nothing happening out here, I'm gonna make a move and a bit closer and flick a softie around for a little while. Well, we've made it to the rocks here and we're gonna send a lure straight into that wash zone. It's still really deep here, it drops off quite quickly. I'm in 25 meters right now, so that lure's gonna need a little while to sink. I'm uh, running the trusty six inch electric chicken, if anyone's wondering. Uh, I couldn't resist putting a jig down, even though I'm right next to the rocks. I couldn't resist it. And of course I've hooked the fish. Feels very small again. Oh, would you look at that? No way. Got myself another pigfish. Oh, and that's a much better sized one. Stoked as. These things are my favorite fish to eat, eh? They're so tasty. And they seem to love these jigs. It's an 80 gram orange tiger. Crazy that I'm dropping an 80 gram jig like 50 meters from the shoreline, but it's real deep here, so you can get away with it. Get that hook out of him. And hit him with the old icky stick. There we go. He's done. Bloody awesome. Awesome. Well, it's uh, going on seven o'clock now, so I'm gonna just have a few more quick casts right on up against these rocks. Kind of want to get in reasonably soon so that I can uh, load the kayak and fill up these fish before the sun goes down because uh, well living in a van you don't have the uh, the luxuries of a kitchen bench with uh, nice lights to fill up fish so yeah don't want to be doing that in the dark well uh that about does it for me, nothing in close here. So uh, we're gonna 
Let's make a move on in. Thought I had a fancy trailer? Nah, boat. We got uh, extra security here. Hold up, don't look at my numbers. This is a beautiful pig fish, and we're gonna give him a quick little fillet job. Not a lot of people know this, but these are one of the best eating fish in the country. So I'm pretty stoked to have two of them. Outline the top of the fillet, and then run that knife right down against those backbones up and over the spine carry your knife up crunch through the pin bones careful not to go through the rib cage and run it along the top of that rib cage down against the bones like so and then just peel the fillet away like so beautiful fillet that's one done. A few more to go. There we have it. Best eating fish in the country. Best stuff in the world. Watch this. <laughs> Ruthless. Good old seagulls. That's not a bad little little meat haul for a couple hours on the water. Good way to end off a day. You ruthless little shit. Ah, no, 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 no. Get out of it. Ruthless little birds. What a beautiful spot. All packed up, good to go. Gotta get out of here, not allowed to park here for the night, so gotta go find someone's driveway to crash in. I'm kidding. It's probably a bit dark to film a cook up, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow for dinner.
uh, on the menu tonight. Gonna do a creamy potato thingy with fish. I know what you call this. I'm not a cook. But uh, yeah, onion, zucchini, potato, fish, tomato paste, stock, and some coconut milk. Should be pretty good. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do, season up this fish. Bit of salt. Spice blend. Sear that up. Got a bit of coconut oil in the pan. Get that nice and hot. And I'll just sear this fish on either side. This is a one pot meal. Nice and simple. Nice and quick. Get that oil nice and hot. This is that beautiful pig fish. In that oil. Try and get it kind of flat. Just like that. Here up nicely on that side. Bit of salt. Get a little bit more seasoning. I'll just sear that while that fish is searing up. We'll get to work on these onions. Give that fish a flip. See if we can do this. Breaking it in half. Don't get your hands, you idiot. Hit with the chopsticks. Just want it seared. Not fully cooked through. Give that about another minute. And we'll cut this. Zucchini up. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see, can we get this out without breaking it? Probably not. And uh, a bit of butter. Good knob of butter in there. These. Pretty simple dish. One pot. Potatoes. I'm going to go in with squirt tomato paste, bit of that coconut milk, it's about two thirds of a cup. Ah, oh, bugger it, I forgot the herbs. Getting a bit hungry now, let's have a look some of that beautiful fish look at that this pig fish is just so tender and flaky look at that it's just falling apart try and place it on there may not be the prettiest thing but fuck it's gonna taste mean look how flaky that fish is it's so tender Ugh. Let's get a mouthful of this. How's that for a bite? Bit of sauce, bit of fish. Oh, so good. Mmm. That fish just melts in your mouth. Well, uh, I'll say it again. If you haven't tried pigfish, give it a try. 
something different from Snapper. And it's just so delicious. I don't know why more people don't talk about this, but uh, if you haven't tried this fish, you are missing out. It's to die for. Just look at that. So flaky, so tender, so delicious. Anyway, uh, I'm going to enjoy dinner and chill out for a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see some hectic action or something a bit more exciting, a little bit different to this, click on the video down here. I'll link a description where I'm chasing big dogs in, uh, in some pretty hectic country. But uh, yeah, that does it for me. I'm going to eat dinner and uh, chill out. Cheers for watching, guys.